Drew is the same way. Yeah. Lots of things are that way, actually. A TV is on sale. $1,495 and they're telling you that that's a 35% discount. What we want to do is find the regular price. Now, here's why this problem gets a little bit confusing, because when you look back at your first two, two formulas there, do you see two regular prices? No. You don't? Do you see two big R's? Uh-uh. I see one. Two big R's. They're in different formulas. What we're going to do right now is find a way to combine these formulas. And so, so watch carefully how we're going to do this. We're going to make a little substitution. Instead of S equals R minus D, notice how D equals R times R. Are you with me on that right there? Instead of writing D, couldn't I write that instead? If D is the same thing as R times little r, would you be okay that instead of R minus D, I wrote R minus R times R? Is that okay with you? Yeah. You believe me that D was R times R, right? Yeah. So instead of D, what else could I put? R times R. That's the same D, yes? Same D. I could write that instead of that, and that's exactly what I've done there. You still, how many people are with me so far? Okay, now, the key part that you're not too comfortable with. That's a substitution. You should be okay with substitution. Did it on evaluation all the time. Here's the thing you're probably not comfortable with. We're going to factor something. Factoring is the opposite of distribution. Whereas distribution, you multiply, factor means you divide. So I want to, I'm going to do this for you. I want you to notice that it does work. If I factor, what I'm going to get is 1 minus r times big R. Why? Hey, can you distribute this in? Can oh, yeah. you distribute? Check out what you get. What's big R times 1? One? 1R. One R. One R. That's it. What's big R times little r? R. No, it's not r. It's two different things. You have r times little r. That's right there. Do you guys see that this is the same thing? Are you yes. sure? Yes. It is the same. If you distribute, you'll get the same thing. But using this, notice how we changed two formulas with two r's into one formula with one r. That's going to allow us to solve this problem. Let's identify some stuff. So if our sale price is equal to 1 minus little r times big R, what stuff do you know here? Do you know big R? Do you know the regular price for this example? No. no. That's what we're looking for. Do you know little r? Yes. Yeah, sure you do. Somewhere over here, what's little r? 35%. Very good, because little r stands for the, the rate. 35%. Would you write 35 or 0.35? 0.35. What's S? $1,495. Very good. Let's fill that out. We've got $1,495 equals, one stays the same, minus what? 0.35. Very good, because 35% is 0.35 times R. We've got two steps left. The first step is to do order operations like you normally would. That means that you subtract 1 minus 0.35, you're going to get 0.65. See where the 0.65 is coming from? Yeah. Do you want to calculate it? 1 minus 0.35. Did you get 0.65? Yes. Uh -huh. So this is 0.65, and we still have an R. This little piece is 0.65. R. Look at the board here with me real quick. So what we've done, we've translated this formula into something that we just created. We plugged in the sale price, got it. 
plugged in the tap, the uh, discount rate. We got that. We did order of operations. That's 0 0.65. Now, can you tell me how you get rid of this 0 0.65? Divide. How did you get 14? Magic happened. I don't know. I wrote the wrong thing. Thank you. Good call. You said divide, right? Yes. I get too excited about my discount. If you divide 1,495 by 0.65, how much are you going to get? 2,300. How much? 2,300 dollars. Dollars, good. Here's what this said. It says if your TV is on sale for $1,495 and they're telling you it's 35% off, the regular price better be $2,300. Otherwise, they're wrong, and they're saying it's more of a sale than what it is. If this had come out to be like, oh, I don't know, two thousand dollars, well, it's not thirty-five percent off. Then it's less. I don't get the one, the one with the one money on. Sure, we factored right here. We're factoring out the big R. If you factor it out, it's R divided by R is one. This divided by R is little r. If you distribute, it will give you that back again. So that R is a product of this R right there. You're dividing R by R. That's the one.